yeah, it's kind of it, it just it's like the same old uh I'm going to mix metaphors here, but it's like the same old uh wine in the in the uh you know, in the iPad casing. That, it's I, just it's, the same stuff that just gets regurgitated and regurgitated of, you know, and and there was this you know, I forget someone wrote a book or an article or something, but there's this, you know, this notion of myths we live by. And these myths are so destructive, not just, I mean, for the obvious reasons that they produce these policies of extreme inequality and economic stress and downward mobility, but it also is just uh, the notion that a couple, that a group of engineers and conductors and people who work on a train, that they can't, they don't think, they don't have a thought process, they don't have an innovation process, they don't care about the quality of their work, and someone can just fly in with a new app, you know, a new, like, uh, Uber app or whatever, and it just displaces all of it. That That is the most disturbing kind of sustainable message that comes out of uh, Silicon Valley. It's, fu- it's funny you bring that up because I was thinking how, like, if you think about all these these tech companies that have been coming out, especially when we talk about... Uh, web applications and websites and, and things like that more so than physical computer devices. Um, I mean, most of these, these companies, they're, what, what they're quote-unquote disrupting are industries that directly cater to these wealthy tech mind, uh, mindsets. Absolutely. I mean, we're, I mean, think about Facebook and Twitter. Yes, everybody uses them, but they weren't originally created for the ways we're using them now. I mean, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg created that so he could pick up chicks. Uh, when you talk about Twitter, you think they thought that Twitter would be used by uh, by by uh, by by young activists in the Arab Spring to overthrow their government? No, they probably were thinking we'll be able to brag about what we're doing because we've got we're doing interesting things. Well, we have and, money and to do things. Well, and even in that mentality, the fact that you know that's a great point you bring up because you know look yeah take Egypt as an example when the the movement was happening. Yes, Facebook and Twitter were used to a degree, but nobody talked in the American media about the massive role that labor unions played, particularly in Alexandria, which is a key port city in Egypt. No, and then no one also wanted to talk about the flip side, which is that you know the same technologies that shut the internet off in Egypt were produced by an American company and sold to the Egyptian government. And then I think there's also just a lot of, of, of products that are they're fine. They're not a problem per se, but, you know, a million different apps for this and a million different, you know, this for that. And it just, it's not really solving every, any problems. I mean, it may, might make a service well, you, easier. Well, what make, I was going to say next actually was yeah. in, in these service companies that are coming right. out, these tech service companies, yes. what, what is, what, what are they, what industries again, are they disrupting? Uh, Uber, because, because, because wealthy people want to be able to just walk right outside and have a, a cab waiting for them. And a like nicer car yeah. than a cab. And, nice and, nice, and then we got nicer, and then we got things like you know right. Task Rabbit. I don't want to do my laundry, so I'll hire someone to do my laundry for menial wages, and I could get away with it because they're, I'm not hiring an employee. I'm just getting someone to, uh, at this moment to do my laundry, to run down the block and grab me my sandwich that I don't want to go get. I mean, the, they're disrupting these services that directly benefit them there's no there's no added value to society or, to or in a place in, a, in an example like test rabbit they literally illustrate the kind of present problems of people's uh kind of economic stress and opportunity but i think it's it's a really important conversation to have i'm, ha- I'm glad we had it with peter and you should definitely check out his article 